Hi friends and Happy New Year! As we kick off 2023, I want to share a bit of travel inspiration from my home state. Now California has four incredible seasons and each offers something special to adventurers. Join me this week as I share some of my favorite trips and travel ideas here in the Golden State for spring, summer, fall, and winter. Yosemite National Park is beautiful year-round, but in spring, as the snowpack begins to melt in the Sierra Nevada, the waterfalls here truly show off. In Yosemite, Bridal Veil Fall can be seen from multiple areas. Now, a few popular spots include Valley View, which is spectacular at sunrise. Tunnel View is also a great place to see this waterfall, and it also shows off wonderful views of El Capitan and Half Dome in the distance. Yosemite Falls is the tallest waterfall in North America, and in the valley, you can easily hike to the base in less than half a mile. Hiking outside of the valley leads to more views of this waterfall that drops a total of 2,425 feet. The Mist Trail is another can't miss Yosemite waterfall hike. You cross the Vernal Footbridge for your first glimpse at the waterfall in the distance, and then you head to the base of this waterfall. Climb up the stone-carved staircase for more up-close views. And when the water is raging here in the spring, you'll often see a rainbow at the base of the waterfall. Finally, when you reach the official overlook, you can see the water plunge down 317 feet here. Just past the top of Vernal Fall is a long, smooth granite slope known as the Silver Apron. And then you cross the bridge for impressive views of the Merced River. Then you begin climbing the final 1,000 feet in elevation to Nevada Fall. After nearly Three miles and 2,000 feet in elevation gain, the peak of Nevada Fall has multiple great spots to watch the waters rage here. You'll also want to cross the footbridge for straight on views of this 594 foot waterfall drop. Forista Falls is a fairly gentle and easy two mile round trip hike to a 40 foot Yosemite waterfall. Chilnawalna Falls is made of five large drops over giant granite formations above the Wawona Basin. We're rounding out our Yosemite waterfalls with Wildcat Falls and the Cascades you are going to want to visit these waterfalls in the spring because they can dry to a trickle by midsummer and dry up completely by fall. For details on all these waterfalls, I have full blog posts and YouTube videos linked at flyingdawnmarie.com. When you think of summer in California, you can't help but think of the beautiful beachfront views and Big Sur holds what many consider to be the most stunning shoreline along the West Coast. One of the most iconic spots in all of Big Sur is the Bixby Creek Bridge. This historic bridge was built nearly a century ago in 1931, and it stands 280 feet above the ocean. Situated at the base of the Santa Lucia mountain range and covering nearly 3,000 acres, Garapata State Park reaches from the rugged sea caves and rocky shoreline to deep inland canyons and steep mountainous terrains. It's also home to Big Sur's famous Calla Lily Valley. Another impressive Big Sur State Park is Lime Kiln State Park. Wildlife is abundant in this state park. And there are three unique trails to highlight. 
Now, the first leads to a hidden 100-foot waterfall deep in the forested area. The second circles the remaining historic lime kilns found here, and the last takes you to some of Big Sur's tallest and oldest redwoods. Sand Dollar Beach is the largest public sand beach in all of Big Sur. The high bluff tops surrounding the beach protect it from the wind, making this one of the calmest beaches along the central coast and a perfect place for a leisurely beach walk. You can't bring up a trip to Big Sur without mentioning McWay Falls. This stunning 80-foot waterfall actually pours into the Pacific Ocean. One of my favorite places to stay in Big Sur has to be an autonomous tent at Tree Bones Resort. For more information on that or any of the spots I shared today, see my Big Sur section at flyingdawnmarie.com for full blog posts and a Big Sur travel guide. As summer heat waves begin to hit the west coast, heading to the higher altitudes brings cooler temperatures. And up in the northern mountains of the state, you'll find one of our nation's most underrated national parks. By early summer, the main thoroughfare of Lassen Volcanic National Park open up from the winter snow that's finally cleared. This park is often considered the Yellowstone of California due to its unique geothermal activity. And if you would like to see the bubbling mud pots and fumaroles for yourself, both Bumpus Hell and Sulphur Works are great to explore here. Wildlife is abundant inside the park. And if you're not up for the 2,000 feet in elevation gain it takes to reach the top of Lassen Peak, you can still enjoy views reflecting in the waters of Lake Helen or Manzanita Lake. For more information on Lassen Volcanic National Park, make sure to check out my full Lassen blog post and virtual visit videos at flyingdawnmarie.com. As autumn arrives, the Golden State certainly lives up to its name. California's Eastern Sierra lights up with stunning scenic drives all along Highway 395. There are countless fall foliage spots to highlight, but one of my favorite stops is North Lake. Located just 20 miles southwest of Bishop, North Lake is surrounded by majestic mountain peaks as well as aspen groves and Jeffrey pine trees. The fall views here are some of California's most famous. Located inside Inyo National Forest, Rock Creek Canyon offers nearly two dozen miles of pristine lakes and creekside views in the John Muir Wilderness. The hike around Rock Creek Lake comes in at just under two miles and less than 50 feet in elevation change, and it's often one of the early spots to see the stunning fall colors. Intake 2 is located near the small town of Aspendale. This beautiful lake has a gentle one-mile hike that takes you around the perimeter of the water's edge to golden aspens swaying in the wind. For more information on California's fall foliage, see my Eastern Sierra section at flyingdawnmarie.com where I share my top 20 spots to see the autumn colors. Winter brings some of the best conditions to explore California. For a snowy wonderland, I head straight to Yosemite, and seeing the snow-capped peaks of Half Dome reflected in the Merced is heavenly. The historic Awani Hotel is always decked out for the holiday season, and the giant fireplaces are the perfect spot to warm up after an afternoon of hiking in Yosemite. Mirror Lake makes for a great valley winter hike. And heading out to the snow-covered Vernal Falls footbridge offers many magnificent winter views.
Yosemite's famous firefall always draws the crowds in February. And both Valley View and Tunnel View are known for their special snowy winter scenery. For in-depth details on each of the above-mentioned Yosemite spots, see my Yosemite section at flyingdawnmarie.com, where I have a Yosemite travel guide as well as specific blog posts and full YouTube videos for each of these areas. If snow and freezing temperatures aren't your idea of winter fun, there's another national park in California that's perfect for winter travel. Death Valley National Park temperatures are scorching the majority of the year, but winter is the ideal time to enjoy the unique landscape here. A few of my favorite highlights include enjoying the fantastic colors of sunrise at Zabriskie Point. The natural formations light up and the colors shift with the day's sunlight. Hiking to one of the park's hidden waterfalls, like Darwin Falls, is a special treat, and since this waterfall can dry to a trickle by midsummer, winter is the perfect time to explore here. There's so much to enjoy in this national park during the winter. From the vast mesquite flat sand dunes, to the historic Harmony Borwalks Works ruins, to the otherworldly Devil's Golf Course salt formations, and of course, Salt Creek's tiny pupfish. You can't visit Death Valley without a trip to the lowest spot in North America. Badwater Basin sits 282 feet below sea level, and if you visit after a storm, you might even see a temporary lake here. Make sure to visit flyingdawnmarie.com where I have a full Death Valley travel guide and informative blog posts on each of the Death Valley spots mentioned above. In fact, every winter, spring, summer, and fall spot shared in this video has its own unique blog post and dedicated virtual visit YouTube video on my website. Thanks so much for exploring California throughout the year with me. And for full details on each spot I shared today, see my blog post at flyingdawnmarie.com. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. And until next week and throughout the year, I hope you find adventure and encouragement wherever you go. Bye.